if you ever wanted to know who is really the favorite at this Asian Cup, today the statement was made. Hello everybody, first set of quarterfinals is over, uh, we're gonna talk about them, but first of all I'm wearing my latest acquisition, this wonderful Liverpool away shirt, I thought let's wear it right for this video as well, um, as it is more or less in color similar to what Iran is wearing. But before we get to the Iran, uh, let's talk about uh, Vietnam playing Japan, because that was actually the more interesting game ahead of uh, today's matchups. You would have thought that, you know, Vietnam, Japan, that should be an easy one for Japan overall, and then a uh, slightly tighter match for China against Iran. China is a self-proclaimed title favorite, but we all know that they maybe have a little bit too old of a uh, squad to be really uh, considered containers, but it was expected to be a tight game. Well, it went exactly the opposite. So Vietnam versus Japan. Uh, Vietnam surprised, I guess, everyone by going on the attack and actually uh, giving uh, Japan quite some trouble. Um, and Japan needed a little some time to uh, arrange themselves, but um, they seemed to get things going quite well then. Uh, when after a corner, around 23rd, 24th minute, uh, was headed in by Maya Yoshida. Uh, however, VAR, who is now finally at the Asian Cup, we have VAR. Um, not that I've seen too many contentious decisions, but I think it was it, it seemed weird to me that VAR was not present uh, so far. So yeah, header, uh, the header went in and VAR disallowed the goal because the header went onto the, uh, his hand. So it came to Vietnam's rescue. Um, which basically was needed for the game to be not uh, becoming a very tedious one uh, right early on. And uh, it continued with Vietnam being a little bit more offensive than Japan. Japan is kind of this typical tournament team. Uh, like at the World Cup, I keep saying Germany, I keep saying Italy, where you always have the feeling they struggle, they struggle, they struggle. But in the end, they get the result. And that's exactly what happened again. Uh, in the second half, uh, Ritsu Duan uh, was uh, through, but uh, seemingly fell in the box. Even the referee said, no, 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 get up. And then a few minutes later, VAR intervened, and it turned out to be a penalty. And the penalty was well taken. And from that moment on, uh, Japan was cruising. So the 57th minute uh was that penalty uh vietnam had a few chances but nothing really too big and japan then yes with some struggle not very pretty uh vietnam having maybe a less talented squad but put a lot of work into it and gave japan a, f a fair and square fight for the semi-final so it was they were anything but a pushover and given that the squad is relatively young i have the feeling uh, we might hear of Vietnam, if not at the World Cup stage, we might hear of them at uh, the next Asian Cup for sure. So that meant Japan are the first qualifiers and then I think all eyes were on China versus Iran. Um, again, China self-proclaimed favorites and yeah, they had the first chance in the sixth minute when uh, they just couldn't put the ball on goal. I think they, they could have made the breakthrough. Uh, and the game was actually very uh, open. I think China was tried to have the initiative, but you know, Iran is also one open game. And um, from all that I could gather, this was one of the more exciting first halves, or at least beginning of games uh, that, that, that we had at this Asian Cup. And then it's uh, for all their offensive uh, efforts, it's a defensive error that gives Iran the lead. When uh, Feng Xiaoting uh, can, see there's a white ball, it's bouncing, but he seems to have it clear, wants to maybe uh, head it away, shoot, shoot it away, get it back to the goalkeeper, doesn't really know what to do. And from behind, uh, Sarda Asmun comes, basically overruns him, he sees the ball jumping. Uh, runs more or less right through him uh, and then um, passes the ball to Taremi who slots it in uh, in the empty net in the 18th minute. A uh, few minutes later um, 
as Moon with another pretty powerful display. Again, a ball coming from uh, the Iranian midfield defense, long ball. The Chinese probably should be able to clear it, but with his uh, power, he just uh, went past the defender, around the goalkeeper, and it was 2 0 Iran in the 31st minute, and that basically killed off the game. Uh, China had nothing more to show, and uh, Iran immediately made three on Sarifard. Um, and uh, that was that. It was in stoppage time. So Iran really looking strong. I mean, uh, we all expected them to be better than uh, China, but destroying China 3-0, uh, that was, was came a little bit uh, unexpectedly. And also have in mind, uh, this was uh, Marcelo Lippis, Marcelo Lippis' last game as a Chinese national team coach. So it will be curious to see whether he will uh, quit his coaching career altogether or that was it. But yeah, Iran made a statement. They are meeting now Japan. That will be a game to watch. Um, I think that could well set the tour tournament on fire. Uh, this seems to be a clash of true giants with Japan, as I said, a little bit always having put in more work than you might expect in Iran. Um, also not always convincing, but um, you can see the ability in that squad. And I think on the Asian stage, this is scary. And this is a team that hung in with Spain. This is a team that hung in with Portugal. So uh, they're definitely no pushover. Um, and I fancy them highly in this tournament. So um, I'm quite excited about that game. Again, unfortunately, unfortunately, I will only see highlights and not the game itself, because that is one that I would probably like to watch. Maybe I have to check the listings on Eurosport. Um, the next set of quarterfinals is, of course, um, South Korea against Qatar, which is interesting. Then the United Emirates against Australia. So let's see if I will wear yellow tomorrow, if I wear another color. Uh, will be quite interesting. Let me know uh, if you saw those games, if you agree with my assessments. Again, I watched highlights, which unfortunately AFC only gives me two minute highlights, two and a half minutes, most three minutes, and then I'm reading up to it. And uh, this is all that I could gather for these matches. I really wish I could tell you more personal experience, but as I said, they are not showing the Asian Cup here. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Sorry, I really have a cold. I'll get better soon. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.